everybody um i'm gonna be doing a special arbor day and basically what we're gonna be doing in a few moments i am out here my mother's yard she has an abundance of oak trees um which i'll show you in a minute so basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be walking around the yard and we're going to be digging up some of the acorn seeds that have taken root um, over this year because, I mean, it's not acorn season, so we can't walk around and find the acorns to actually plant them. So what they have done um, at this time of the year with the oak trees is they fall from the oak tree and then they get in the ground and they start digging their little roots. And so sometimes when, when we dig them out, uh, you can see the little acorn still fully intact with the with the like roots and everything taking sprout and form in the ground and you'll see a lot of like little squirrels they're digging in the ground they're digging for those little acorns that are rooted um and it's just one of nature's miracles and it's such a fun little experiment and activity to do with your kids on arbor day so arbor day is all about trees planting planting a tree or getting a tree and preserving our trees around here. If you're not familiar with oak trees, they take hundreds of years to grow big and beautiful. So you have lots of time for them to sit in their little pots as seedlings and then sprout into little sprouters and, and, and stay in that little pot. So if you don't own property or a home, but you have kids, but you do plan on having your own home and place eventually, this is the perfect tree or um, activity to do with your kids. And it's fun and it teaches them all about the future preservative, future time, like we plant the tree, but you're not gonna get immediate, um, you're not gonna get immediate results, instant gratification, you, it's, you're not gonna see it. But over time and over a long, you know, the years and stuff, you'll start to see the little tree, keep an eye on it, and it becomes very sentimental. So when you do finally buy your own home or land or property, you'll have this cute little tree in, in your little pot that you've been nurturing and taking care of with your children um, for a year or two years or five years, however long, and you can plant it on that property together as a way of acknowledging this is our home, this is our space, this is our tree. And it has great, great sentimental value. It's just really special. And it doesn't matter how much, like how old they get and they leave home and they come back to visit, they'll always know that's my little oak tree that I grew from an acorn. That's my little magnolia tree that sprouted into this big, beautiful tree out here. You know, that's the tree that I grew from a podling or a seedling. And it, it's, it, it gives great, great sentimental value. And it's something they can, they can hold on to forever um, and enjoy something that never goes away. So for this Arbor Day, that's what we're gonna be doing. So I'm gonna be out here with a couple of the kids and we're gonna walk around and hopefully find one of those little acorns in the ground that's still intact that, or possibly has like little roots and stuff. So we're kind of excited and we're gonna be starting in a minute. And every year after, we'll just do like a little recap on the little tree and how it's doing. And y'all can, if you decide to do this with your littles, or even if you don't have littles and you just want to do this because it's like super cool, um, you know, you can keep me posted on how your little tree is doing or your little podling or seedling. And I just think it's, it's just one of those great nature miracles and it's super cool, especially as time goes by and they get bigger and bigger. Um, so a couple of tidbits about the acorns for future reference. If you don't find any little podlings in the ground and you, you don't have access to them now, but like, um, later on in the summer, in September or something, you'll start to see when the acorns start falling. It doesn't matter if it's green or brown, but the way to test to see if they're good to grow into a tree and pot and plant is, um, well, you pick the acorns, obviously, that doesn't have any holes or cracks in it. Make sure they're nice, round, and, and solid. And then you drop them in water. And if they float, it's no good. So, but if they sink and they don't float, that's your acorn. That's the one he's ready to go and to pot and plant and, and grow into a great big tree. Okay? So, if they float, you need another acorn. Okay? But if they're not going to float, they're good to plant and you're ready to roll. So... Also, we are going to be taking a trip to the Louisiana State um, Arboreum 
here in uh, Ville Platte, which is located right outside of Chico, Lake Chico State Park. See if we can learn anything new as well with the nature around us. So on to our adventure. Okay, so right now we're fixing a prep and what they're gonna do is they're gonna put low coffee filters in each one of these little cups so that the soil and dirt doesn't fall through the holes. As you see, Sweet Johanna is helping. Push it down. And then, which we can use the spade, but I like to use my hands. Here, put one in here. Oh, so we're gonna put a little bit of dirt. More. I guess I'm gonna cover the, cover the filter. It's kind of like that. Here we go. What are we doing? Another one? Is this one for you? Is this one yours? I took a photo and you'll see below a um, picture of one of the little acorns that sprouted their roots. This soil is mixed with potting soil, but it's some of our own soil too. So it's not just um, the soil, potting soil. Yeah, that's my mom. Oh. Now we have our pots ready. And now we're about to go seedling hunting. Yay! You ready? All right, let's get this done. Bring a pot. Are we gonna dig it out? No, dig it out. You just pull it. No, when the soil's wet like it is now, go all the way down to the ground. Usually, I have more. Oh, yeah, so it is. There's still one? some roots. You can you can salvage it and might take. So you just put it down in there. Yes, if you use the trowel. We could take little saplings. Um, see that big bush right there that makes those red berries? Mm -hmm. yeah, this is. Um, to find an acorn, you gotta look under the leaves, okay? That's where the squirrels find them. In the spring, the acorns are growing right now. start a tree from a little seed. And then they have all the cool like little bark and leaves that they can see for examples. 
Over here, this is what I thought was super cool. Is what it says, look closely. As you can see inside this stump, which is, it has all of the layers of shelf fungi and lichens and a variety of insects. And I use a lot of lichens, the oak, uh, moss tree lichen is my favorite that I use and a lot of on products that you'll love so much because it's so antibacterial, antimicrobial, and antiviral. So in here, the kids can come and learn about all the different processes. Right here, they are playing with this cool thing with the photosynthesis. They can check out the sun and the water. This place is super cool. Nature's food processor. of the cool little area that we were taking photos.